Hi, I'm Raul Esparza. I am Jelani Aladdin. And you're watching b -Way Show. We are here, Miscast 2022, live, in person. How are you feeling tonight? I'm feeling great. It's great to be back in New York. It's great to be here with this event. I've done uh, Miscast before, many years ago, but um, and it was such a treat. It's just such a fun night. Pure joy and excitement that we get to be here and enjoy some musical theater, some crazy zany musical theater, and like have a good time, a party, you know? It's been a long time since we've had that. Side by side. <laughs> by side. Thank you. You're welcome. Feeling great, girl. I'm excited to see some amazing performances. Very excited. <laughs> Very excited as well. We had an absolute blast seeing you perform, seeing the uh, Orange is the New Black crew come together. Yeah. What was that like having the whole family back together again? Yeah, you know, it was amazing. A lot of my cast from that show are theater kids. They started theater kids. Um, and so they understand and recognize the spirit of the theater and that community and tribe. And even though we have a tribe on Orange, we very much so came alive and made a tribe on the stage as well that evening. Um, it was wonderful. And it's just great to have that support, always. It's always wonderful to have that support. We were at the sound check today and I looked around and thought, this is so normal. Here we are with everybody, except it's totally not normal at all. So I think one of the best things about it is you just feel such a wave of gratitude all the time, you know? Yeah, I was at an opening night last night and I just kept thinking, oh my God, we're back. Yeah, we're back. yeah it's an incredible feeling to know that uh, just by showing up, we have uh, uh, created community and, and taken a position and supported just by showing up. Like, I think we're probably the best audience in the world right now because everything is marvelous. <laughs> it's been awesome to run into you and see like you in your element. You've been killing it, girl. Event after event after event. It's amazing. Well, I got to see you in your element at the Come From Way concert in D.C., yes. which was so stunning. Oh, my God. We had a blast. I think there was like 10,000-something people there that showed up. Huge, iconic, amazing. I got to play Bob and others and for a, a mass, a, the biggest audience Come From Way has ever had, I think. Yeah, it was insane. I just came back from Greece, and I have to say, this feels like this is where I'm meant to be. Oh, that is beautiful. You can go the distance to any place and beyond. <laughs> uh, so the, your Hercules was one of my favorite acting moments, one of my favorite productions. That means a lot to me. Thank you. What was the process of doing a show, especially that has such deep roots of like a lot of fandom, but also being black and this superhero and this godlike figure with Hercules and doing it outside. It honestly was felt like being set free. Like it was, there was always a sense of ease throughout the entire process of like, this show is a completely new reinvention of this uh, ancient Greek idea, this ancient Greek god and hero. We're completely redefining that, and and I felt I found great ease in that because I got to be me. Yeah. Oh my God, it's a it's a godsend. I. Um, I think I've been sitting, just waiting anxiously like all of us have to get back to telling stories like we do, to sharing our art and our talents with the world. And I think it's something that we need more than anything right now. It's a very cathartic healing process. And we've had a lot of separation over this, what, two years now almost. And, uh, you know, theater is all about bringing people together, telling stories and uh, spreading love. So I'm, I'm happy to be back. And speaking of theater kids, what would you like to say directly to your fans? Come to the theater, come back to Broadway, come to Broadway if it's your first time. There are incredible shows happening, incredible stories being told. You will not regret it. Won't regret it at all. You have been a part of so many amazing productions, and especially recently with like the resurgence of Tick, Tick, Boom and company. Like, what do you want to say directly to your fans? Thank you for supporting me all these years. I just realized I was talking about my first show on Broadway a minute ago, which was Rocky Horror, and that was 22 years ago now, which seems impossible because time flies. But, you know, thank you for supporting me and for sticking with me no matter where I go, if it's television or film or, or stage. And I love the people who have followed me from television to stage. Um, and um, there is just always such a, a powerful outpouring for whatever it is that I'm doing. I know the last time that I was on stage actually for a longer run was uh, at MCC, where we did Seared. And we think of that as like the happy, the, the last happy time, the last good time before the pandemic hit. Um, there were so many people in that audience who were fans of, you know, Law and Order or, or Hannibal. And I just think that that's, uh, it's thrilling. I love that communication going back and forth. Well, we're so happy to have you here. Enjoy tonight. Thank you. You too.